Well, it is Columbus Day on the Savage Nation, and since we have a gubernatorial race in New York State which, between two gentlemen of um, Italian heritage, I, I don't feel embarrassed to say that I've been watching this this battle between Palladino and uh, Cuomo, where they say Palladino said something that was quite homophobic, and I, I would say this to Mr. Palladino. Now, Cuomo was a lifetime far-left radical, as you know. His dad, uh, a good man, I'm sure, was a, a super left-winger anti-death penalty, pro-welfare state. In other words, all of the progressive policies that were suffering from under Obama were tried out by Andrew Cuomo's father. Mar what was his father's name? Mario, correct? So Mr. Palladino is being called homophobic, and I'm going to give Mr. Palladino a, uh, a one-liner that could win the election for him. He should get up there today, and he should say, I am not homophobic, I am homophobic. Symbol shot. Crash. Boom. I am not homophobic, I'm homophobic. And that's the end of the, the election. He wins right away. Now, I gave a one-liner to, uh, uh, what's his name? The guy from Arizona whose name I forgot already. The guy crashed the, the airplane and blew it up on the deck. Oh, uh, yeah, John McCain, that's right. I gave him the one-liner, trickle up poverty, during the campaign against Obama. His dumb handlers wouldn't even let him see the line because they didn't want him to win. But I told him, I said, if Mr. I said it right on this show. I said, if you, uh, if you uh, give this to uh, uh, McCain and he goes out tonight and debates uh, Obama in the final debate that time, I said he could just smile and do Reagan-esque uh, and say, look, we've heard it all before, Mr. Obama. We know what's coming, Mr. Obama. It's been tried in Russia, Mr. Obama. It's been tried in Eastern Europe, Mr. Obama. It's called trickle-up poverty. That would have been the end of the election, and we'd have McCain. But the Republicans didn't want him to win. They knew that they had sacked the Treasury for eight straight years, and now it was time to hoodwink the people and let the Dems sack the Treasury for eight years until eventually there's nothing left. We are like the proverbial sporting goods store taken over by the mafia. Both sides are basically running up the credit cards for the uh, airline tickets and moving the inventory out of the back door, selling it off the back of trucks. That's fundamentally what America has become to the two parties. So don't tell me that the, the solution is more Republicanism. Now, the fact is, is we need conservatives, not Republicans. So I say, Palladino, all he's got to do is get up and say, I'm not homophobic, I'm homophobic. And that's the end of it. Also, I'd like to hear about book uh, store horror stories on this.